Now, hi folks. Okay, we're back. This is uh, video number three out of a three uh, video series on laying out signs. So here's another one that I've got to do. This is, uh, I'm, I'm making this sign out of uh, two inch redwood, two inch um, two by sixes redwood laminated together. And I've got my board all made ready to do the sign. So this is, uh, this font is called calligrapher. Uh, calligrapher normal, I believe, uh, something like that. And this is what the customer was requesting. So this is what the sign's going to say. It's going to be all outset. So here's a, one more reason why you really need, especially in a font like this, really need to print this out ahead of time. Uh, if you look at the L, the L, it, it would be really easy to get it backwards, you know, with this little point. The I, it would be, again, easy to get it backwards and how the, uh, the dot on the I, because this is upper or lower case. And then another one is the N and the U. If you look at them, they could very easily be, be turned upside down and be, uh, you know, mistaken, you know, that the U upside down could be the N. Uh, so that one is really critical. So, and then of course the G, this uppercase G, it would be real easy to get it kind of cockeyed if you don't know how it's supposed to look being straight up. So again, another really good reason to actually print them out so that you know exactly what the letters are supposed you to look You cut those like. on the on the laser, right? Yeah, these when I start to lay these out, you'll see these are uh, again. That's uh, I. You could blow this up and get it the size you wanted and then do it with carbon paper like I did that that beer mug that's one way to go um, but you know I really like you know using layout letters that the carbon paper situation is so time consuming and uh, this just makes a much better layout so if you can get layout letters and again we can do them for you if you've got a sign and um, and you've got special font and you need layout letters uh, we can do them for you and if you've got time and, and uh, you know, you can always just add a few bucks into the, the price of the sign if that's what you want to do. So we're available if you need them. Um, so this, uh, now I'm going to move around the table and we're going to go ahead and get this laid out. All right, so first things first, I believe this, yeah, this is the face of my sign. Uh, that's the way I want it. So I'm going to lay my letters out here. I'm going to go two lines on this in order to make the letters big enough. So, and they're going to be all outset. So just like I did, uh, yesterday, I'm going to kind of just figure out where my lines are going to be. And I'm going to center it in the board. If I go there and there. Anytime you can do it without covering things up, like your arm. Oh, right, your I'm covering up the, with the, Yeah, your arm's in the way there. I keep forgetting uh, I'm on film. Okay, so here's where it gets uh, a little bit tricky. I'll try and, is I, I, on here, I need a baseline. I need a line down here. So I'm gonna put my T where it is so that it's balanced on the board. And now I'll bring this up and put that where it goes and draw my line I really like this font it's the first time uh, this is from the customer customer requested this font I went on and found it and got it in the laser and then cut these layout letters but I really like this font I think I'm going to use it more often T-A-L, the I goes like that, yep, and the S, O, that's the N, G, U, L, F, make sure that I got my, my U, yeah, that is the U. And that's the end. Okay, so that's that. Now it looks like uh, probably about two inches. I'll make a two inch mark there. You're mumbling. Oh, sorry. 
I'm just uh, I measured in two inches from each end and again like I mentioned before these are going to be outset so I want to give myself plenty of room to get around them yeah I need to adjust that that's not quite right I'm going to go uh, back it off to about an inch and a half from each end I want to look on my layout and make sure how that S, because it would be really easy to get that S kind of cockeyed. So I want to, looks, looks like these lines are like just about out of 45 or thereabouts. The eye is obviously straight up and down. And it goes about there. got a baseline here so both these the points on the end how's that look dad the T is pretty much straight up and down all right let's do that bottom line say four inches in and four inches in let's see how that spaces Again, it, uh, on this G, this is one I was really kind of concerned about the way the the way the G is. That kind of has a, almost a, the same kind of thing as the S. Almost has a 45 kind of uh, angle there. So. And then we're on a baseline there for both parts of the you're modulating pretty low, son. I can barely hear you. Well, your hearing's not as good as our audience, Dad. I know. <laughs> the camera's got a better hearing than I have. <laughs> so I'm hoping everybody's catching what I'm mumbling about. I'll try and speak up. <laughs> All right, so um, I think we've got pretty good balance there. We're about an inch and a half there, inch and a half there, a uh, little over four inches there, a little over four inches there. Looks like everything is pretty much square. Tilt that just a little bit. Got pretty good spacing. So this will be, again, all outset. I'll make my cloud around there. It'll be a nice balance in the center of the board. Give me plenty of, uh, plenty of room for my, for my background bit. Okay, let's spray it. And again, I just, uh, it's pretty warm out here in Arizona, so I just had this on ice in my little ice chest. Make sure it's nice and cool. These letters are pretty good size, so I probably don't have to worry about them flying, except for that dot on the eye. That's probably the one I'll do first, just to make sure it gets... So again, just nice short bursts. I think these are going to look really cool carved. I'm excited about any time I get to do something that's a, a new font. I think these are going to look really neat. I'm, I think I'm going to use these more and more. All right, that should do it. In case you guys haven't seen me do that before after I if I know I'm not going to use that in the next few minutes I always turn it up and clear that nozzle turn it upside down so see it's it's warm enough out here in Arizona those are dry already so there's my uh, there's my layout I'll put some lines on there just so I have some lines to go by so I know where everything is I'm not sure if these yeah, the way those are, I'm not going to worry about a top line there. Pretty much just the baseline on these. So how's it look, Dad? You get looks it okay? Good, son. Everything okay? Yeah, it looks good. All right, so uh, if you want to, if you want to pick it up and set it on the edge, I'll get a close up on it. 
Yeah, that's a good picture. That's going to carve, and they can see how the how all the layout is on it. Yeah, letters and everything. So that's good. I think. Uh, um, yeah. So we're all done there. Again, this is a uh, fifteen by nineteen. I believe is the size of this sign. So we'll. Uh, I'll get on to carving that, and uh, so this again kind of completes the the three video series. Okay, uh, one more thing. Uh, again, like I was saying, this completes the three video series on uh, layout. Um, uh, give us some feedback. Let you, let us know what you think. Again, ideas for upcoming videos. If you have, uh, get back to us and let us know. Uh, don't forget to sub subscribe to our channel and go to Facebook and like us on Facebook. And uh, if you have any questions, we're here. Let us know. Write us an email. Give us a call. We'll be happy to help. All right, you guys. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.